In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply this motion trail effect to your text in Photoshop, so let's get right into it. I'm going to create a new document in Photoshop. It will be 1080 by 1350 pixels with an sRGB color profile for the web. Then, I'll invert the background and select the Type tool to add the text. For this, I'll be using the PF Fuel Grime font, which is available in Adobe Fonts. I'll make some adjustments to the tracking and leading, align the text to the center, and convert it into a smart object. Using Command plus J, I'll make a copy of the text layer. Then, let's hide one of them and apply Motion Blur to the visible one. To do that, go to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. Change the angle to negative 60 and set the distance to something like 30. Now let's make the other layer visible and go to Filter, Blur Gallery, and choose Path Blur. Drag the arrow to match the direction of the motion blur. Then, uncheck Centered Blur, and in the drop-down menu, choose Rear Sync Flash. Adjust the speed and the endpoint to control how long you want the motion trail to be. I'll adjust the angle slightly since mine looks more like 45 degrees. Then reduce the taper and speed a bit. And when you're done, click OK to save the changes. Now it's time to add a gradient map. Navigate to this icon here and choose Gradient Map. I'll browse through our presets. If you want to purchase the pack, I'll share a link in the description. I like how this one stands out, so I'll select it. You can double-click on the Smart Object Effects to adjust them. I'll make some changes to the motion blur, then add a background and some grain as well. After all the adjustments, the design looks something like this. We also have a template available in our shop where you can replace your text, and the effect will be applied automatically. There's a link for that in the description if you're interested. If you want to learn more, check out this other video on the screen. Thank you and see you next time. This is Creative Society.